hi friends today we are going to see what is dictionary dictionary is an ordered mutable and indexed collection of items each item has key and value pair so let's see for example dict if i say it's a variable name underscore example equals to if I have to write a dictionary, I will be using curly brackets and say I'll be defining the key as in string. So name then its value. So name say for example, I'll be saying Kirti so when we add an item after this i'll be it, it is comma so separated so then after that i'll be taking say for example a roll number then i have to insert a colon and then say for example one 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 and then again I'll be mentioning the class so this is our dictionary dictionary has key and value items okay so the most important point here is the keys must be of immutable type that is this it, it should be of immutable type that is for example it can be a string it can be a number or it can be a tuple okay the values which we have mentioned it can be of any kind of data type and it can repeat but the keys which we have defined it should be unique the reason behind it is because we are going to perform various operations on using the keys here okay so let's see for example if i have to print this dictionary print dictionary let's execute this okay so we have got the output this is our dictionary with name roll number and class okay say for example if if i have to access the items so how we can do that if i have to access the say for example i have to access the roll number so how i'm going to do that we can do it in two ways one is by uh, accessing through a key let's see so i have written x equals to and my variable name and then I have to pass the keys. I have to access what roll number. Let's see if it is working for us. I have to print uh, X, not the dictionary. So let's execute and see. So it's displaying the roll number, right? So how do we access it? We have to access the element using the key value for roll number we can do similar with class if we have to get the class we have to pass say for example x is equals to we have to pass the variable of dictionary and then the name of the key element so it's returning whatever we have whatever we are passing as an key element okay so this is one method there is one more method name as get so how we do that x is equals to for example dot get and in this we have to mention what we have to get say for example I'll, I'll write name so both of the variables are x but this variable it is print, it will be printing otherwise i'll comment out this so it will be returning what now it will be returning name so it's returning name okay so th this is one method of uh, passing as an index the key key item and the second is through get method okay so there are various ways of assi of assigning the 
dictionary let's see some some more examples of dictionary how we can write in dictionary so i will be writing this say for example i'll, I'll change this to ig okay and now this dictionary will be with integer key so for example one then i'll be writing say um, what i can write fruits right apple then two will be say for example banana three so this is dictionary with integer key okay so this this dictionary is a collection of like for example fruits list kind of fruits so this is it okay so this is dictionary with integer keys i'll comment dictionary with integer key okay let's see let's print this i'll comment this correct so now it's printing our integer key dictionary okay so the the dictionary key can be in the mixed form means it can be with uh, integer also it can be with string also in in a in a collection so let's say it example dictionary with mixed key okay so equals to and then name sorry name say i'll be writing sapna then comma and then here i'll be writing suppose one and then i'll be passing it to a tuple so now i will print my mixed key item okay so how how we can retrieve this we'll check one so we can retrieve name and then i'll print x Oh, I have to pass the variable name also. Okay, so if I what if I'll be passing age, which I have not defined in this dictionary, I have not defined age. So what will happen to this? So it throws an error, key error, age. because we have not defined let's see with this get method what error it throws when we have not defined the key item let's execute so wait i'll comment one none so the this get method will not return an error it will just return none so if if we want us to know what the error is it's better to use indexing because we are passing a key item which is not present in the dictionary so it's always better to use the indexing otherwise we can use get also but it will be returning none it will not be returning the error so we'll never come to know if the key is present or it's not present okay so now i'll be just removing this let's see how to assign a value like how to change the value of the existing dictionary how to change the value of say for example i have to change the value of class so how i will be doing it so i have to pass and 
my variable okay and then I have to write the key item its class and which is equals to have to pass say for example te and then again I have to print the dictionary let's see correct so now it's it is getting updated okay so this is my dictionary I have changed the value of class so I have to pass my key item that's why key item should be unique otherwise it's it, it, it will update so it it has to be mandatorily to be unique okay okay so like this we can change the um, value of any of the item we can uh, like change the class now let's change the roll number maybe we can change the class here and we can change the roll number down say for example now if class has changed the roll number will also change so for example now it's 110 and then let's check correct so now it's the class is t and the roll number is 110 okay i hope you are clear on this this is this is changing the value of dictionary items okay so now adding the item in the dictionary what we have to do to add an item in a dictionary so let's comment this i'll be adding an item so for example my variable i have to add one what key value first let's add key value year so maybe which is equals to say 2020 it's not good 2019 let's do it and then print the dictionary so we can see the dictionary item has been added this is key value this is sorry this is key and this is value okay so now we'll see how to remove an item from a dictionary so for removing an item there are various methods so first we'll see the pop method it removes the item with specific key name so what I have to write is so I'll comment out this then my variable name dot pop method is there and then I have to pass what I have to delete so what I have to remove so maybe I'll be removing class and then we have to print the dictionary so it has been removed right we have we have passed the specific key item that key item is removed so we can see only name and roll number is being printed we can remove we can remove one more see maybe we'll be removing roll number and check okay so this is pop method what it it does is it removes with specific key item we have one more item one more method pop item it removes last inserted item so let's see what it is pop item so it will be removing anyways it will be removing class only as it is the last item correct otherwise we'll add one more and we'll check say for example I'll be adding year I'll be saying 2019 sorry I have to so now last item is uh, for this pop item the last item is last item is year so that's why it's I'll do just formatting okay so that's why the now when I am executing the pop item it's being removed the last item is being removed and last item according to it is now year okay okay so I'll just comment this and then we have one more method to remove an item we have del keyword delete keyword okay so it 
has the capacity capability to delete whole dictionary also but if you pass one key item value then it will delete that also so my variable and then I have to pass say for example roll number so now it will be removing the roll number okay so roll number is removed okay so this is del keyword and for that we can pass our key item okay so if I don't pass the key item and if I have just mentioned this it will be deleting the dictionary itself and when I try to print this dictionary it is going to show us error because we have already deleted the dictionary see name error is not defined name dictionary is not defined why because we have already deleted the dictionary here okay so I'll comment this because I have to perform more operations on it so clear there is one clear method so what does clear method do is it returns an empty dictionary so I have one this dictionary variable and then clear so it will be returning what empty dictionary okay so it's an empty dictionary okay so next what we'll see is I'll, I'll comment this okay I'll just remove all this from here because it's a mess okay so what we are going to see now is looping through a dictionary so how we do a looping through a dictionary or iterating through a dictionary okay so for example for x in my dictionary variable and then print x so I'll be commenting this print statement I'll be just printing x so this x will be printing what it will be printing key names in the dictionary let's execute so name roll number class and year so these are all key items correct so this is for printing key Correct loop and getting key items. Okay, key items. Okay, so what if I have to get the value items? So, what I have to do is for say, for example, y in my variable, and then what I have to print is print my variable name. of y correct now let's check the output so now it's returning both right key items and name roll number class year this is the output of this and the values kirti 111 se to 2019 this is the output of this correct so it's returning what it, it is returning the values in the dictionary so there are several other ways also to return the values in the dictionary let's check what it is so we have one values method to return the values in the dictionary so for example for say for example why only I'll take nine in my dictionary variable then dot values we have okay and then print print y so oh, it's better I'll comment this all So now it's returning the values so what we have used is values method it returns the values in the dictionary okay so now I'll 
we have we can check one more thing how we can iterate through both key and value so for x comma y there is an in keyword in our dictionary sorry our dictionary is dictionary underscore example dot items and then what we have to print x and y so print x comma y for indentation x o oh, okay so this should be starting from this so in in python this is indentation is very important thing okay so now name is kirti roll number is 111 class is second year engineering year is 2019 okay so this is how we iterate through both key and values so if if we have to check uh, the some particular key exists or not how we can do that let's check so i'll remove this all again and i will open this print statement and i'll write if so for example class in dictionary variable array r so what we are trying to do here is we are going to check if this class is present in the our key items so in dictionary in dictionary we are trying to check if this i exists so let's check oh we have we, are, we should write something right yes it's present yes it's in dictionary okay so if is conditional statement maybe uh, af after some videos it will be coming so this is how we can check we can check for year if year is there in the key items in the dictionary we can execute so yes it's in a dictionary so if, for example if we write something which is not there name class num class roll number so age is age i can write if it is not there it will be returning nothing so it's returning nothing if we write else statement then it will print no it's not present it's not in dictionary Okay, so let's execute. So no, it's not in dictionary. Okay. Okay, fine. Now what we have to do is how to determine how many objects are there in a dictionary, how many items are there in a dictionary. So how we come to know? So we can do that using a length function. So let's print. length is l e n and then we have to pass our dictionary variable and then we can execute so we have four items right name roll number class and year okay so now we can check how many methods inbuilt methods are there in dictionary so i'll be like removing this and let's check in built methods in dictionary okay so some are in built like length new 
reduce size of and whatever we have seen is like clear okay next i'll be taking copying cop copy of a dictionary then from key and then get get we have seen right we have seen get we have seen pop we have seen pop items we have seen values remaining we'll see right okay so how we will see how to copy a dictionary so there is a copy method copy method so for example i'll say ki my dictionary is equals to t i c t my variable of the existing variable and dot copy and then i'll be printing my dictionary Okay, so this is done. So copy. There is a copy method, and there is one more function. Suppose, for example, I'll write a dictionary underscore e g is equals to d i c t. There is a constructor. It is inbuilt function. we have to write double quote and then we have to pass the variable name see dictionary example okay and then i'll comment out this and let's print this okay so this is done so how to copy how to copy a dictionary we have a copy method our existing uh, variable and dot copy and then we have dict function where we can call that function and then we have to pass our variable name okay thank you so much